Hello, my name is Bob and once again I'd like to welcome you to yet another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. This episode is the seventh in a nine part series on repairing the crash damage in a GSXR 750 motorcycle. In this episode I continue with the fitting of the new fairing, this time preparing and installing the new tail section. So let's get started. The first thing I did was remove the seat. It was held in place at the front by two screws, one on each side, which I removed. It hooks under the frame at the back, so it was removed by lifting the front and pulling it forward and away. The tail piece is held in place by six screws, three on each side. There are two at the front, which also hold the seat, one on each side just after the seat, and then two under the pillion seat or cover, depending on what is fitted to the bike. The pillion seat or cover locks in place and you need the key to undo it of course. Next the connections to the blinker and the tail light needed to be undone, starting with undoing the cable ties that hold them in place. This bike has an aftermarket tail brake light and blinker assemblies and no logical wiring code. So I use masking tape to identify the connections before pulling them apart. Then I remove the tail piece to the bench. I recycled the grommets from the old one to the new one, so they needed to come off. They were all a bit hard with age, but washing up detergent and judicious use of a small flat screwdriver got them out. The tail light assembly was held in by four screws which I then undid and the unit was removed. The screws that hold the tail light in place go into captive nuts that have been moulded into the tail piece. In the new tail piece, one of the rear ones has suffered an overflow of plastic blocking the thread. I ran a thread tap down it to clear the obstruction. Then it was on to fitting the tail light. Uh. 
To hold it in place, I loosely fitted the two screws holding the forward end of the assembly first. I then fitted the two rear screws. These were hard to get into position so I used a magnetic pickup tool to position the screw in the hole before screwing it down. With all four screws in place I then went around making sure all of those screws were tight. Then it was on to installing the grommets. The green squirt bottle contains a mixture of 10% washing up detergent in water and I use this as a lubricant on the grommets prior to fitting. With the grommets in place, I then fitted the tailpiece to the bike. The tailpiece does not drop straight down and I had to slide it in at an angle to get it over the frame, followed by a bit of jiggling to get it seated properly. Then I fitted and loosely did up the four rear screws. before going around and tightening them all. Then I reconnected the cables to the blinkers and tail light unit. I'm not fitting the seat at this stage as it is going to be recovered and the tail cover will be fitted later. The fitting of the new fairing body is now almost complete. 
The only thing remaining is the fitting of the new front mudguard. And I'm going to cover that in the next episode, which will be part 8. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to you joining me on the next episode. Of course, the best way to know that the next part has been loaded is to subscribe to the channel. It's easy, just hit the subscribe bar down below. While you're there, ding the bell so that you get a notification from YouTube when the next episode or any other episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel is loaded. Thank you once again.